everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to another brand new week here at Hunky Dory TV. We are so excited today because we have got the most adorable new launch to share with you today. We are showing you that beautiful Woodland story. But before we show you that, we need to introduce our wonderful guest. We have got the fabulous Becca with us again today. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We love a Monday, don't we? We do. And especially with a launch like this as well. It's so fun. I've so been so cute. excited for this one. I know. You're dressed in a bit Woodland do tail you know today. What? I've just realised this. It wasn't even planned. I've got my <sighs> Rebecca Rabbit dress on and I didn't even plan this. Amazing. Like I just knew, um, just and of course we have up like this. just exactly yeah just talk about this, and we have the fabulous Emily looking after us in her wonderful technical corner. Um, how was your weekend, Emily? It was really good. Thank it you. was good. It's good. We've all had good weekends. Um, I hope you've all had a fabulous weekend as well. Do let us know what you've been up to. If you've been crafting, if you've been watching us on Create and Craft, I know we've got lots and lots of shows on at the moment, so you may have been watching us. Um, okay, before we show you this incredible collection, shall we have a look at this week's incredible Win It Weekly? I think this is possibly my favourite Winnie Weekly we've ever done. Would you like to win a stamping press? Oh my goodness! We have got three winners that are going to win this absolute beauty. Um, this is our stamping press. It's worth $34.99. It does have that um, the top that comes off completely. It's got the magnets, it's got the two ones here as well so that you can clip all your projects in place. It is just absolutely wonderful. It is a stamper's dream. You need this in your life. But we are gonna give three away on Friday, but you need to answer our question correctly. So let's have a look at this week's question. Ooh. Oh, candy floss was invented by A, a hairdresser, B, a dentist, or C, a magician? Oh. Who I can't imagine it being a dentist. Well, you wouldn't have thought, would you? But I feel like it might be a little bit tricksy, this one. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Maybe it is sure. a dentist. Oh, I love candy floss. It always has fun <sighs> fairs. Me too. Yeah, it's the best, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I absolutely love the stuff. But I have got the the worst sweet teeth ever. So <laughs> uh, I'll, anything. Candy floss particularly, though. Yeah, do you like candy floss, Emily? Love it. Yeah. I feel like we need to get some now. Why do you always make it about food, Emily? <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, if you would like to be with the chance of winning one of our stamping press, you need to like, share and comment with your answer below and we'll be selecting three winners on Friday's show. How very exciting. Okay, shall we take a look at this beautiful collection? <laughs> adorable thing you've ever seen I love 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 this collection so first of all we're going to talk you through uh, the fabulous topper collection now obviously we do have a bundle for you but we're going to look at all the individual elements first of all so $19.99 is going to get you the topper collection you're getting two of everything that you see here and when I just move that then did you see that accent foil just catching the light on all the characters there Beautiful. oh it's so gorgeous isn't it um, how has it been to work with this, Bex? It's been absolutely lovely. It arrived at my house when I was working from yeah. home and I just opened the parcel and I just could not wait to get started with it. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Um, a little bit nostalgic. I yeah. feel like it's got a little bit of a Beatrix Potter edge. Yes, it certainly does. Um, or Sylvanian families yes. as well. Yes! Definitely. I never had those as a child. Neither did I. We weren't allowed them. They were very expensive. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. Um, they are very pricey, aren't they? But they are just so adorable. Um, so these are going to be perfect to make cards for, you know, maybe your grandchildren if they're into the Sylvanian families or, you know, anyone that's a fan of Beatrix Potter. This is going to be absolutely perfect. I'm just going to bring it back a little bit so you can see all of the detail on here. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So as you would expect, with every topper set, you are getting your foiled and die cut topper, you're getting your foil cardstock, and of course your printed cardstock. But look at these, look at how you can chop into them, you can make your own little scenes. Oh, look, look at him. He's gorgeous, <laughs> he's so smart in his suit. Isn't he, he looks proper dapper, bless him. He's so cute. 
Um, these are little characters. You can create your own little storybooks with these. You know, you can create your own little characters, give them names. Um, it's just going to be absolutely wonderful. I love these like room scenes. Yeah, with the wallpaper patterns. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Maybe if you've got like a doll's house, you could use a little bit of this in there, create your own little like wallpapers. Or yeah. uh, this, I would be cutting this out and popping a mirror in, uh, some mirror card yeah. in there. I had the same idea. 100%. With that one. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's just beautiful. Oh, look at her. Oh, I think she's Ooh. my favourite. She is so cute. I mean, but look at him as well in his little suits with his little hat. He's got a little cane as well, hasn't he? Oh, so cute. Absolutely love, love, love this collection. Look at him. Is he taking pictures? Yeah, with his old yes, fashioned camera. <laughs> Maybe you're going to scrapbook with this. Maybe you've got some sort of old family photos, that, you know, a little bit vintage. It's got that little vintage feel to it, hasn't it? Obviously, everything's matastic as well. So you can add your inks, you can add your stamps onto here as well. That is your topper collection. You are getting eight topper sets, um, four different designs, two of each. So that is $19.99. Um, of course, though, we do have our inserts as well. It would be absolutely crazy if we didn't, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, what sort of world would it be if we didn't do inserts? I know, and these just match so perfectly. Oh, don't they? Don't they? You are getting 36 in total. You're going to get 12 different designs, and you're going to get three of each. So I'm just showing you one of each here, as you can see. But they are, I love this one. And you can totally make this Christmassy just by adding maybe some snowfall acetate oh, yeah. onto this, a little bit of your glitters. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous collection, full of loads of little chintzy patterns, some lovely florals in here. It, it does have that lovely sort of vintage um, sort of vibe to it, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It reminds me of like old fashioned wallpapers or afternoon yeah. tea china. Yeah, definitely. There's our little duck down there. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. There are your inserts. Obviously, you are getting three of each. I am just showing you one of each there. And then, oh my goodness, uh, we have got the paper pad. So this is an eight by eight paper pad. You can see all the different designs on the front there. Um, but oh, just look. Look at the backs as well. I'm trying to think, let me see. I think I might be better flicking this way so we can see that sort of split. split screen effect with the the front and the backs there as well so you can see the backs at the top but look how you can chop into these you're going to get four of each so if you want to decoupage you can do um that, oh look at this one at the top it's beautiful isn't do you know it? what i absolutely love patterns like this my bedroom is decorated in like rose floral like quite vintage wallpaper and i just absolutely love it mark hates it because it's like pink as well pink flowers oh, and i'm like boy. no i love it i don't care um it's just gorgeous Oh, so cute. Look at that blue as well. I mean, have you seen anything more Peter Rabbit than this? No. That isn't Peter Rabbit. Yeah, with the yellow and the pair of bunnies yeah, there. It's just beautiful. Oh, look at Mr. and Mrs. Fox. They look like they're going out for the day. So cute. I absolutely love this. Becca, I cannot wait to see what you're going to make for us. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, this is the show that I've been looking forward to for ages. I did try and steal it from her on Friday. I was like, uh, do you want me to demo on Monday? She was like, no. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Please let me play with this we had gorgeous a, collection. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we, yeah. She wasn't for letting it go. No, um, I couldn't. So your paper pad is $9.99. Um, obviously, though, we do have an incredible bundle. If you want all of this that we've shown you so far, just 29.97 so that's basically getting this free how good is that you are saving 10 pounds you're either getting this or your inserts for free whichever way you want to look at it you're getting something for free so for 29.97 you can get the whole collection home look at it oh it's so pretty oh emily what a fabulous pack shot that is doesn't it look gorgeous you did get your inspiration sheet there as well as you can see at the top so that gives you a little bit of a few ideas of some makes but becca what are yes. we going to make <gasps> We are going to make, um, we're going to use the um, Mr. and Mrs. Fox oh! top set and we're going to go straight in with those hoppers. I just, I can't even tell you how excited I am. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to have a bit of a chop in some card blank shape. Okay. Today, just to make them into different shapes and just make them a bit more unusual. Yeah. So I want a five by seven, but I really want the fold on the left as a sort of specific um, oh, fold. like a landscape. Like a landscape yeah. fold. So I want it to be five tall and then seven across with the fold on the left. So okay. the easiest way to do that, because you can't get that out of a piece of A4 no. or anything like that, because um, it's just not 
14 in, in length. So the easiest way to do that is to just chop a seven by seven card. Um, I think that's the right one. Yeah, and just do it like that. So I'm just going to cut that to five inches. So okay. then we've got the fold there. Okay, amazing. Okay. And then we're going to do a tiny little um, score. I've seen this fold a lot on Pinterest. Right. Um, and I've kind of adapted it to my own measurements and okay. to use sort of card blanks because I think um, it's really nice to sort of do this. And it's called a book binding or a storybook fold. Okay. So it's very, very easy, but it right. just gives it a little more of a bit of a jazzy edge. Oh, this is exciting. And I thought because it was called a woodland story, yeah. I would try this fold. It's really easy as okay. well. Um, so we trust you. Yeah, honestly, it's just <laughs> one, well, it's just kind of one score. So I'm just going to score it at one inch here. Right. Just a really nice score because obviously it's going through like multiple kind of layers. You can open it out and then obviously just kind of re-score oh, okay. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you want do want the score front and back. Yes. We do need this. Yeah, yeah we do okay. need this. Because that's quite unusual, isn't it, when you're scoring through two. That's not what we normally do. No, it's not. Okay. Um, so we're going to give our crease a really nice good burnish. Yeah. And then this is going to be, uh, it's going to be like a spine of a storybook. Oh, okay. So a really easy fold. Your card's going to open up like that. Yeah. And then it's just going to look like a little storybook. Nice. You could put some like extra pages, yeah, layer it up. Yeah, I was going to say that. Do you know when you get the fancy cards from the card shops that have got like multiple inserts yes. in, you could do that and you could sandwich it in between that fold, couldn't you? Wouldn't that look amazing? Wouldn't it? Um, I've also done this before with gift cards where you don't take yes. the whole thing and you just you slot, just it, slot in. it in. What a good idea. Um, so that is our card base. So this leaves us with a really nice five by seven here. Yeah. And then we've got five at the top. So, yeah, that should work. Let me just check. Yeah, it is. You could, as well, look what you've done. You've got me started now. Go on. Is you could use your hole punch and punch two holes in and, like, put I some had that through. idea as well. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted to tie it up. That would be so cute. I ran out of time to give that a little experiment. Um, but, yes, I had that idea, too. You I could like just it. go mad with you this could. fold. And it's so easy. Um, it's just a little bit different, isn't it? It's like you say, it's not anything too fancy no it's e really easy to do but it's just going to give your card a completely different look yeah it is it is and you know if you're not that like experimental and you haven't really got many fancy folds in your sort of repertoire yeah. this is a really easy one to do it's just one yeah one score that's all it is so perfect so i've got some of the foiled cardstock that i'm just going to mat and layer onto our gold mirror and it is the one from the fox obviously you can't see her there but we're going to bring her in don't worry good could not leave her quite out. Sad then. No, no, no. But I just this isn't this foiled corner with the leaves. Oh, gorgeous. it's beautiful. Yeah. And obviously you can chop into these. You could cut that off and remat and layer it where you want it to be. Oh, definitely. You know, so don't don't ever feel limited by your card blanks. Just always well, your card start. Think about how you can cut them up and you know what we're like. We love chopping and changing things around. Yeah, definitely. It's just because we obviously like to give you guys at home the most number of options yeah. to use your card start. Some people love to chop into it. Some people like to make card blanks out of it. And I just think we try and show as many different ways yeah. just to please like the, the, the most number of people, really. So we're just going to layer that up on there. Yeah. Give it a really nice little gold edge. And then we're going to bring in Mrs. Fox. Mm -hmm. so, I've chopped, so, cute. so I've chopped. She's so cute. So I've chopped her up on the um, trimmer, just lining up my cardstock. And I'm just going to finish just fussy cutting out just round where her hand is. And then everything else should be good to go. We can mat and layer that on. You know, there's a few people saying that they could see some Christmas card ideas with some of this imagery. I think that's it's not just us. That's good, isn't it? Because it's so it just makes your collection like a lot more flexible. Definitely. Um, so I'm just sort of going around her her head. Here. I love what you're doing here. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it just meant that no corner got left out. Yeah. Because they're both so beautiful. I wanted them on the same card. So perfect. So I'm just gonna now that I've finished fussy cutting that, I'm just gonna. Pop that to one side. I'm just going to check that on everywhere really nicely. She's and so cute. She really is. Um, and then, obviously, not leaving the boys out. We've got to get Mr. Fox in there Aww. as well. Um, I've kind of chosen some toppers. I've definitely gone with this one because it says A Woodland Story. Aww. And with it being a storybook fold, I yeah, thought that's just that's going to be perfect. perfect. So let's get this layered up. So I'm going to kind of put that, just sort of gently place it where I kind of want. I want my dear friend there as well. Oh, I like um, it. It's coming together, isn't it? It's looking cute. I always like to lay things out first as well, just to, Best way, you know, isn't it? have a play around. And if you do that and then 
you're a bit scared of like moving it all to stick it back down take a picture I oh, do that I quite always a lot do that. yeah yeah halfway through a card honestly I have to go through my phone and delete like all oh, the card same. pictures yeah. um it's crazy because obviously we do so many <laughs> that is my life it's a phone full of um pictures of children or my own or um, card making materials like yeah. card making projects and oh, we could do this, oh, we could try this. That oh. is literally my, my camera roll. Yeah, me too, absolutely, me too. Um, yeah, I, I do like to take pictures halfway through because then sometimes, like, if you move your toppers, you just can't remember you exactly can't, where yeah. you placed them. And uh, angles and things, and some things just don't go back how you had them. No. So having that picture. Yeah, it does help. Always have your camera phone on to hand. So let's just bring in my corner again. I'm going to tuck this quite far down because, like I say, we don't really... I'm not going to completely cover her, but obviously with having the lady fox on here, yeah. we don't really need it as much on, on this side. So we can bring her quite far down and we just get like a little hint. And then I'm just going to pop this just on an, on a little angle, just so we can squeeze that in. Cute. And we're going to put that on with some foam pads. Uh, Chris has said that her daughter's nickname is Puddle Duck, so she'll be getting the duck on her birthday card Oh, of course. for her birthday in March. That's really cute. Oh, March. Yeah, definitely. Get this in now. You'll yeah. have a bit of time to do that. Oh, Tanya said her camera roll is full of a cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think um, Natalie's is full of Oscar now, yeah. isn't it? And yeah, all This is how your life changes, doesn't it, once you get a, a pet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. All my, all my friends that have dogs are like, so do you want to see some pictures of my dog? I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to show me anyway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, I love this. It's, it's so cute. Coming together nicely. So I want to layer this on foam pads as well, just to give it that really nice bit of height and dimension. And you could use that corner as like a little pocket to put like a little oh, gift card definitely. in or a tag or a little secret card. Yeah. With a little message in. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think you really could do that. I think that would be actually really, really nice. Yeah. Um, there's like, just so many different ideas. We yeah. Just, what is essentially just a five by seven, really. Yeah. Um, it's amazing how you can just use it in so many different ways. Oh, that's cute. You could um, like make bookmarks and make those cards like that little pockets on for bookmarks. Oh, definitely. That would be sweet as well. Absolutely. We're getting lots of ideas out of you, Anne Marie, today. You've just been feeling so inspired by this I collection. Think, yeah. I think my brain just didn't work last week, so you, it's catching up. Yes, absolutely. I think it's just, it really is, it's not difficult to be inspired by no. this collection. I think all the storybook imagery, the characters have just been brought to life so wonderfully by the design team. I, I just think it's incredible. It's not hard to um, craft with this kit no. at all. And you, you can tell like sometimes by how craftable a kit is when we get the cards back from the design team and there's millions. Oh yeah, definitely. You're and like, yeah, just, they yeah, love this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, we do get that quite a lot, don't we? They are so wonderful. I love right, this. Lovely. So let's start popping this together. I've got my tape already on here. So I've just gone in with three pieces of the finger lift on here so we can get that stuck down. And then we're just going to finish mm -hmm. off by doing our spine. And I might just see if I've brought an insert. I probably haven't. I always forget to bring inserts in. There we go. So we've got our spine. So that's an inch by five. And then again, just utilizing those bits of scraps yeah. of cardstock. You could use your paper pad for that as well. Yeah. Just all those little scrap pieces. Or like the little borders that you get. Oh, you yes. know, if you get a little bit that's left over from another card. We yeah. all have them, don't we? No, absolutely. And I think on the fox topper sheet, there is um, like a green, I think there's a green border on there. That would look nice if you wanted a bit of a thinner a thinner spine or if you just wanted to put that on as well which I would not blame you because it's gorgeous no definitely not um so we're just going to pop that onto our Miri it's very um, cute it's looking cute isn't it okay and then um I might just put like I say I think I've I thought I would brought that border in but I'll use this little um this little sentiment this thinking of you and that just brings that blue in I love that all the colours just work so well together as well, like the blues, the greens, the yellows. Um, and then we'll put that on another um, foam strip. And then get this card finished. 
We've got another busy week here at Hunky Oh, we have. We? We've got so much going on. Um, it's just like how we like to roll in January and February. It just absolutely busy, busy, is. Busy, busy, Yeah, we love it. It's really exciting, though. It's just been such an exciting couple of weeks. So let's stick that on there. Cute. Going to leave a nice little bit of space. You don't yeah. want those mirrors to start, like, mirror mats to start catching. Yeah, you want to be able to still open it, don't you? Yeah, you... nice and easily. Cute. So, uh, let's just, I nearly forgot to stick my tops <laughs> down. So just going to pop a little bit of tape on there. Um, I think one piece should be enough. Yeah. I went to open it then. I'm like, why is it opening like That's that? That's not right. So oh, Karen has said that this card would be brilliant for her nephew because his name is Fox. Oh, oh wow. what is your name? That's so pretty. I love that. Oh, yeah. This card would be great for kids. I think that's just storybook, you know. Yeah. Loads of kids just love fairy stories and things. It would be so, so cute. Um, lovely. So let's get that finished off. I will pop an insert in there and uh, get all my cards photographed at the end of the show. But that is my really Aww. easy storybook. I love that. Fox card. That is so cute. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, okay, shall we have a look at some of the other cards that the um, the team have made? Now, none of these have actually got names on the back, so I am assuming that these are all Natalie's make from the TV. Um, I love this one. I actually saw her making this and doing this fancy fold. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, this one. Oh, look how she's Ooh. used this to create that as the front of the card. I'm just going to stand it up. Mm right back here so you can see but look how cute that is when it stands up oh it's so gorgeous what a great idea using the parchment that way i love this one as well look at the ribbon how it's like curled it's so pretty very cute and that's where your uh, hair straighteners come in handy curling your ribbon <laughs> yes oh look at him as well he's in like um a one of these like it's a tent like fold a, yeah kind of card i quite like that this one is absolutely gorgeous as well um, look how beautiful that is. So nice. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I think it? I did see Natalie make this one. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. And this is also, look at him. He's so cute. Look at his trousers <laughs> and his braces. <laughs> He's adorable. And this one, quite a simple, but just really effective the way that everything's layered, like the border goes over the frame, but then under the topper, we've got this all sort of fussy cut out and the parchment popped in there, like you can see. It's absolutely fabulous, isn't it? It and, really oh, is. Oh, look at this one. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? You can see how all of these elements are working together. You know we love to put full coordinated collections for, together for you, and this is no different. Okay, shall we have a look at some more goodies? Yes. So we also have, as you've seen there, we also have some parchments. Um, or should we look at Adorable Scorable first? I can't remember what was first. Adorable Scorable. Okay, so look at this. So this has been put together by uh, the designer who was Jen, um, and she's put all these colours together to coordinate perfectly. So these are from our core range, but just look at those shades. Look how they're just working. You know, if I just bring in one card, you can see Any all those, those colours work. working. You know, it's just fabulous, isn't it? This one again. Oops. We've got that green. We've got that sort of mustard shade in there. We've got that beautiful blue. You know, absolutely gorgeous colours that are just all working so beautifully together. Absolutely love this. So you're getting 30 sheets in here, 10 different colours, three of each for just £9.99 there. Um, and then I'll show you the parchment. Let's have a look at this because it is particularly gorgeous. Let's just have a look. I think this is the nicest this parchment way. we've done for ages. Oh, isn't it lovely? So gorgeous. So obviously it is translucent is the parchment but we've just got some cards stuck behind there just so you can see the designs properly on the white there and um, but these will change you know depending on what colors you put them in so if I pop a little bit of the pink behind here oh, no that's like coordination I can't do there we go look how it changes the color of that parchment by adding pink behind there instead of white so have a play around with the different colors behind it matting and layering popping your mirror behind it as well because that gives it a really cool effect as well so so much you can do with your parchment oh look at that i love that one that is so beautiful isn't it it's so so pretty i love it you know chop out those books and layer them use them as embellishments oh it's a little bit alice in wonderland-esque this one with the teacups and the perfume bottles yeah yeah it is isn't it 
I love that. Oh, and this one's gorgeous. Perfect um, for our Mr. Bunny with his blue coat. That's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, it's another one that could be instantly festive with a bit of snowfall acetate. Oh, cool. Love that. And then we've got another, I'll just bring that one in so you can see it a little bit closer. A little bit of a chintzy sort of floral pattern on there. So 16 sheets all together, eight different designs. You are going to get two of each. Again, so that's going to um, give you your 16 sheets, just £9.99. And then we have some ribbon. Can I open this, Emily? Is it like trying to herd cats getting it back in? Look at this. Ooh, look at all the colours. So our lovely Natalie um, chooses all the ribbon for us and again coordinates those colours perfectly. You could literally just throw this on your kit and you will see everything just matches, you know, perfectly. It's just gorgeous. Um, you have got 24 metres in total, your 12 different colours, and you're going to get two metres of each. Obviously, it's perfect for this collection, but you are going to be able to use it for so many different things, so many different uh, kits that you've got at home. It's just going to be super useful. Okay, Becca, we're coming back to you, I think. We certainly are. Um, so we're going to get some of that parchment out and the paper Ooh. pad, I think. And again, like we're going to sort of chop into um, another card blank, um, just because we can. Well, so why gonna, not? So we're going to stick with a seven by seven, but this is going to be a bit of a bigger card. OK, so. OK. Um, and I've noticed when we were looking at the card makes that a few, um, we've had a few sort of similar layouts, but I really wanted to use it and I don't think I kind of realised anyway. So we're going to chop the front and just have a middle panel like just oh, swinging okay. yeah 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 really really pretty um so i'm just going to open my card out and then i find the best way to do this because you can't squeeze a seven by seven under the trimmer because it's just too big <laughs> the easiest way is to just um just score it and cut it freehand okay um so i'm just going to i think it's i'm just going to grab a pencil and then i know so obviously we want three and a half in the middle so that it's absolutely perfect. And then we want um, an inch and a quarter each side. Okay. I'm just going to have to check. Okay, that's fine. Checking's allowed. Yeah, checking is allowed, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, it's an inch and three quarters. I was like, it's either one quarter <laughs> or three quarters. Here we go. So we'll just kind of mark that at one and three quarters. And then one and three quarters. So that's there. Cool. So I'm just going to score there and then yeah. I can chop them away. Don't forget, you can grab that bundle, which saves you £10. Basically getting your inserts or your paper pad for free. I however know. you look at it. Just £29.97 for the whole collection. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? It's such good value. And it just makes your kit just go so much further when you buy the paper. I think the paper pad especially. Yeah. Because you get your backgrounds, you get the elements, you get the images again. It's just stunning, isn't it's it? It's really good. Oh, Linda is saying, uh, parchment paper is new to me, but I'll give it a try. Oh, Linda, do. We use it quite a lot, you know, for all sorts of different ways. Yeah, and I think we bring it out with a lot of topper kits, especially yeah. ones like this that it just goes so well with. Oh, Chris has said the same. Never used parchment before. I was not sure how to use it. Well, we're going to use it on this card. Yeah, uh, there's lots of different ways you can use it. I haven't, um, you know, I haven't made it the star of the show or anything, but it's definitely there. And it definitely really elevates my card a bit. Yeah. So um, there's a couple of, you know, I'll, I'll, when I'm demoing, I'll definitely run through some like tips and tricks, just because there are quite a lot of different ways to use it. Yeah. And with it being translucent, you do have to think about things like covering your workings, but that's not yeah. too difficult. No. Um, so I'm just cutting away these um, panels here, and then I can just get on with matting and layering and making this card very pretty. There we go. Cool, fab. Um, yeah, I'm just going to trim that a little bit straighter. With with having scores in, you can just follow the lines. Yeah. But just have a little look and just see if there's any way you kind of need to trim up after. Um, so I do it the other way around to you. So I s stick my matte layers down and then cut the sides away. Ooh. So it just depends what you're used to. Like, yeah. Because I don't, I'm not into the measuring either. So I just prefer to stick it all down. Stick and then it all cut. down and then trim back. Yeah, I might <laughs> actually try that. I think that's it as well. I think we all really we've all, share... We've all um, got our own little crafty perks, haven't we, and what we do and yeah, how we do it. Yeah, and sometimes it's kind of nice to experiment with things like that because you might just find that it saves you time. Um, oh, so, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm just going with this beautiful rose print. It really does remind me of wallpaper. It's actually just like my bedroom oh, wallpaper. Beautiful. <laughs> well, you must have a very beautiful bedroom. 
Well, Mark doesn't think so, but I do. Well, that's all that... That's, you know. I don't care. Yeah. No. Perfect. So we're just going to take this tape off. I've already layered that on. Obviously, with it being paper, we want to be a bit more gentle with our tape. Yeah. It's just not... Don't forget our Win It Weekly. Um, this week, we are giving away three of our stamping press. How exciting. To be with the chance of winning it, you just need to answer our question correctly. So we would like to know... Was candy floss invented by a hairdresser, a dentist, or a magician? Oh. Let us know what you think the answer is, and you will be in the draw, and we'll be selecting three winners on Friday's show. I love that. It's very exciting, is it? Stamping I think it's press. exciting, a stamping press. Like you say, it's it's a really a really great prize. Yeah. Um, you're just gonna you're just gonna love it. Um. Oh, it's so pretty. It just looks gorgeous, mm. doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, so then we've got our next mat and layer. So that's just going to go on the top here. Yeah. And then we're just going to have this panel. It should be nice and strong once we've got all our layers yeah. on. And then the next piece of... This is also from the paper pad. So uh, she's on uh, the top as in the cardstock. But on the paper pad, um, she's got... I'll, I'll bring it in and then you can see the difference. Yeah. So you're getting a bit of a sneak, but I've done it with different colours and patterns. Oh, so. okay. So on the cardstock, she's got this really nice peachy border with this ditzy print in. So I yeah. went with this one. However, on this one, she's got the roses. Yeah, I like and you can you've see done that. it just depends on which way round you want her. So I've gone with the paper pad just because obviously we, you know, didn't want to do another sort of cardstock and toppers demo. Yeah. So and I think it just gives it that different look. I've brought the roses in, but yeah, if you wanted to do sweet. it that other way, um, you definitely could. And I think the great thing about the paper pad is you can make these big cards and you're not using your card stock, which is no. normally more expensive, you get yeah. less of it. Um, you know, it's just a way to be a bit more sort of like mindful of your budget when you're crafting. You can still make these beautiful big cards. And they're a little bit more pricey to send as well, obviously because of the weight. So if you can keep it down with your papers. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. It's worth doing. And no one will ever know. It'll no. still be nice and strong and really beautiful and it'll just, you know, it'll be fine. Um, that's why we bring you like such good quality like paper pads because we know that you might want to use it that way yeah. and make your kit go further. I love this style of card. It's something that I feel's just become quite popular. Definitely. At the moment. Yeah. It's just something a little bit different. It, it gives it a different look to just a you know full front card. Yeah, definitely. It's, it, I've I've noticed that it's actually become really really fashionable. What I'm actually going to do, just so that... Oh, sneaky, you nearly missed it then, didn't I you? I did, I did. That's my trick, that. <laughs> Wedge your ribbon behind your papers. It's like, oh, I've already stuck yeah, down. Yeah, so with parchment, <laughs> you will see your adhesive if you're not yeah. careful. So the best way to do it is, if you are matting and layering like this, is to just put it all on top. Sandwich it in, in Sandwich between. Sandwich it in, absolutely. So I'm just going to line a little bit of tape on the side. I love that. And then we'll get these trees. Because they've got trees on that paper, I was like, that parchment is yeah. just... Just works Perfect. so well. I love the when you where you've torn it, it gives it almost like a white edge as well. It's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. It tears really easily because mm -hmm. it's nice and strong. Um, it's just perfect for doing that. And I think it just gives it that more vintagey kind of look. Yeah. Bit bit more distressed, a bit more sort of shabby sheet. Yeah. And um, I just love that kind of finish anyway. Very. Did you just find that card from before with Mister? What was he? A little? Is he an otter or a weasel? Stoats. Stoat. Stoats. Can Emily. I just quickly show this, Emily? Can you see the parchment on there? It's been like torn and it's been crumpled. So think about doing that as well. Don't just feel like you have to use it in sort of straight edge pieces. Give it a bit of a crumple and it adds a little bit more texture to the card, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks, Emily. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful on that one as well. I love that um, that letter print one is just oh, gorgeous. It's our fave, well. isn't it? Well, I don't know. I do love the trees. I think I'd be hard pushed to choose a favourite if I had to. I think it looks perfect with this one because it just almost looked like the trees yeah. just continue from here. So we're just going to pop that on there and then I think we're nearly done. We're going to put a couple of sentiments on here. So we're going with this again. These these are the toppers from the, just the normal collection. And because they've got um, those roses on, I really wanted to use them. So we'll go hats off to you because she's got a beautiful <laughs> little photo hat on. So cute. And we will go with many thanks. I'm going to pop a couple of gemstones. I think I'm going to go with our sepia ones because um, they're just oh, so Oh, that's pretty. just going to work so well, isn't it? Isn't it? I think the sepia pearls are just perfect for this. So I'm kind of going to, yeah, I'll go with this sort of lighter colour. It's almost like sort of champagne-y. 
I'm going to put three at the bottom and three at the top of this layer, and then um, and then that will be all done. Beautiful. Like that, so. that, oh, that just finishes it off so well, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think so. Um, they just look they just look so stunning as well, and I think pearls have got that really vintage feel they as do. well. They do. They do. The um, Oh, what are the are the tropical twists? Those ones that look quite cute as well oh, with the peach yeah, tones. Yeah, there's a lot of peachy ones yeah. in there, isn't there? Oh, I love that, Becca. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna just trim off this tiny, tiny bit of overhang here. There we go. Um, perfect. So let's get this all stood up. Oh. We'll give it a nice good crease here, and it should stand up perfectly. It did when I practiced it. There oh, it we will. go. Oh, look how cute she is. Oh, isn't she? <laughs> I love how the parchment almost, I don't know, it really makes her pop, doesn't it? Because she's not parchment, obviously. Yeah, of course, It definitely. just really makes her pop from that. I love it. Thank you so you much. You're so welcome. We will be back to Becca with another demo. She is going to be showing us um, how she's going to make something with these gorgeous stamps. Um, so let me show you these. I think I'm going to have to come in super close so you can see. Look how cute they are. So obviously your stamps are a tool for life. So when your collection has all gone, you can still create beautiful cards using the Woodland Story um, stamp. So we've got Mr. Flopsy. He's got three stamps on there. We have got Mrs. Tails. <laughs> She's Aww. so cute, isn't she? You've got uh, two stamps on there. You have got Mrs. Nutkins. Oh, she's just adorable. <laughs> she really is. And you could really, you know, decoupage her. You can see her tail in the background. You know, her arms and um, what is she holding? Oh, it's like a little jar of honey or something or jam. You could really decoupage her up and she would look fabulous. Um, and then you're also going to get Mr. Squeak. I mean, Aww. look at him. He is adorable. They are four ninety nine each. You can get any two for £8. Let me show you them on here as well so you can see them in black and white there. Um, they are, what does it say, two for, two for eight pounds. Uh, or you can get all four for 14.96, which saves you five pounds, um, which is just great value. What does that make them each? Is it like three three pounds something? Three, uh, it's maths I can't do, unfortunately. Set yeah, just a little there. bit over. <laughs> but look how cute they are. They're so cute. That's actual size as well, so you can see how they're gonna look when they're stamped out. The, £3.74 each. What an absolute bargain. And that is per set. That is an each stamp. Absolute bargain. Um, let's have a look at some of the gorgeous makes. Sorry, I was just double checking the little notes there, what we needed to do next. Um, oh, look at these. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, so obviously, that. you can colour them in any colour ways you want once you've got stamps. So if you want a grey squirrel, you can do her grey, you can do her red, you can change the colours of her dress absolutely anything at all oh look at him doesn't he look fabulous on craft cards oh yeah he really does oh they are so beautiful i absolutely love them you could with the squirrel one as well you could put glossy accents on that jam oh, as well you wouldn't could. that look good yeah that one's gorgeous isn't it i love the pocket watch yeah yeah, it's so Aww. great. Aww. Oh, she's been stamped onto um, the paper pad. Oh. Because you can just see the pattern on her her dress there. How cute is that? It looks like it's part of her dress. Yeah, definitely. Or you could do a bit of paper piecing. You oh, could you could. Stamp the dress onto, like, say, the rose print yeah. and then just cut it out. That would be amazing. This, it would look fab on there because it's like a quite a nice open space, isn't it? Yeah. That would look so amazing. Love, love, love those. So fourteen ninety six gets you all four of the stamp sets. Um, we're just going to have another look at our Win It Weekly and then we're going to head back to Becca for our final demo of the day. Don't forget to like, share and comment if you would like to win ba -ba 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 -ba, our amazing stamping press. We have got three of these to give away on Friday's show. You just need to answer our question correctly. So Candy Floss was invented by a hairdresser, a dentist or a magician. Let us know what you think the answer is. I mean, a hairdresser sounds quite, you know, it could be. Yeah. You know, like a big bouffant. That would make inspired. sense, actually. Um, yeah. My my mum always says that like when my hair's really big, it looks like a big blonde candy floss. So it could be. I could see <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I could see that. I could also see a magician, you know, because it is quite magical, isn't it? It's like oh, yeah. sugar, then candy floss. Like, how does that happen? I know. 
It is amazing. So yeah, it's quite a tricksy one that. Let us know what you think the answer is and we'll be picking three winners on a Friday. Okay, Bex, are we using the stamps? We certainly are. So excited. Yes, and I've got in with Mr. Bunny, Mr. Flopsy, sorry. Oh, so oh, cute. It's so cute. Um, and again, I'm chopping up our cards. That's what we love. It's just ways we can do them in different ways. So we've got a four by eight and we've chopped two inches off the front. So, okay. um, but we're gonna use it this way around. Oh. Um, I made different. this card with the squirrel and I thought it would really suit the bunny. I've done it in a different shape and uh, different colourways. So yeah, let's just see how it goes. Cute, cute, cute. Brought some of our special Woodland Story Matastic in, uh, in the indigo look sky. At that colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just the perfect sort of navy. It looks really regal and rich. It does. Um, love it in the matte finish as well. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so let's matte and layer um, some of our pieces on here. So we're just going to... Put this piece onto the top first of all and um, so this is two inches so we're not leaving any white gaps it is going to be completely covered at the top okay and then um yeah we'll just see how this card goes like i've not done it start to fin i've done it pretty much like three quarters of the way okay there's lots of different things you could do with this so we'll just see how it we'll see how we're doing for time and see how we see how we're rolling i am just uh i'm gonna just pass our ipad to emily because it's having a little moment oh no and i'm not getting any comments so I tried refreshing it and now it's just gone funny. <laughs> we, we don't want it funny. No, we don't want it funny. We no, want to see what you're don't. saying. So, um, and as you can tell, I've had a little practice <laughs> and not really like the way this has worked out. So the great thing about uh, Ink Me cardstock, especially if you're using it for mats and layers, is you can just turn it around oh, yeah, and do it again. Flip it over. Don't waste it. Don't put it in the bin. Just Ooh. flip it over and start again. So as you can see, I've started with the clocks. They're absolutely gorgeous. Nice. So we're going to just matte and layer that onto the indigo sky. And it's going to look beautiful. I think these clocks look amazing. They do. It's why I had to use this one, because I just think they're so cool. They would look great with some glossy accents on as well, wouldn't they? On yes. like the, the clock oh, face. Oh, make your clock face look really yeah. curly. Yeah, it would look perfect with that. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Versafine. Get my sentiment on and then we can just carry on building this card up. So, um, I'm just going to actually straighten up that stamp. I'm not really very happy with that yet. Come on. <laughs> it's a little bit wonky, isn't it? It was on the wonk. What's it doing? I know, it's misbehaving. Right, perfect. So, we'll just give that a wipe. And then just with Is it pressed it. down? Oh, yeah, yes. I don't want it falling on We don't want card. to do that, do we? No, we do not. Right, so let's just pop that oh, on here. Oh, cute. Just at the end. Time Lovely sentiments as well. They're perfect, these. aren't yeah. they? And they're so, they're sort of not tied to a particular occasion. No. And I really like that because it just means you can use them for like, any occasion we can so we've got the time to celebrate we have many thanks how useful is that going to be yeah definitely uh, you're so sweet and have a perfect day that one's going to be fab yeah that's it i like that they don't obviously many thanks is obviously like uh thank you cards obviously but you know the rest of it isn't you know isn't tied to like no. a birthday or an anniversary and i like i say i really love that because it just stamps are already tools as they are yeah and and to get even more occasion and more versatility out versatility out of them is just amazing yeah so we're just going to color in this um clock face um, so i've gone with our brush markers because nice. they're really nice and quick and easy and i think it just adds to that sort of feel you can use alcohol markers if you prefer um but when i was at home i didn't actually have my alcohol markers with me because I took that much stuff <laughs> I know. I honestly, just didn't have any more room. We have so much stuff, don't we? It gets a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Like, you can't take everything. And I always think, when I'm going to telly particularly, yeah. I'm like, well, I need to take everything because what if what if I need to do this and I don't have my pens? And it's like, well, there's not even any stamps on the show. Why would you need your pens? Yeah, it's no, still like, yeah. I have you to take them. You can't help it, can you? You genuinely prepare for, like, every circumstance. Yeah. And I can't even tell you how, how, how many sheets of Miri I took home and I still didn't have enough. <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy. So I'm just going in with some like really nice simple shading. So because I'd used the brush markers a lot with this collection because <coughs> it was Excuse kind me. of all I had, I've just kind of stuck with it because I've just That's cute. Yeah, I've just kind of fallen in love with the sort of effect of that. So I'm just giving some really gentle. Um, they don't quite sort of push around in the same way as alcohol markers. So I'm being really sort of gentle with my shading. Because Obviously, you can add water to these, but oh, definitely. I would 100% recommend using your watercolour card. Yeah, this is just normal ink, yeah. so I'm not going in with any water. 
and if you push it around too much because they are kind of water based um they start going a bit furry like felt tips yeah, if you yeah. add loads and loads of layers on whereas with alcohol markers you you don't kind of you don't really get that so i'm just finishing off my clock Cute. i like that we have the ipad back everybody yeah what was wrong with us emily it was broken wasn't it Oh, the internet, oh, the internet was down. Oh, no. Yeah. Honestly, so, it does make you realise that you just can't live without it. No, anymore, you can't, can it? you? It's so we, we have missed some comments. We can't go back and see them all when it's live like this, but we um, apologies if there were any questions or anything. I'm sure the team would have looked after you. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I've already stamped and done most of the colouring on this, so I'm just going to sort of go in and add some more sort of shading on these um, watches, these pocket watches. You. I like how easy it is. You don't need to add loads of um sort of color you don't need to do loads of blending or anything just that little bit of an extra you know that dark color yeah just really makes it look more realistic doesn't it yeah it's only just a little bit of just yeah. shadow and just because a bit of something something that yeah yeah because there's these little lines on it anyway it makes it really easy to know where to kind of place it and then we're just gonna just go a little bit over it and then there we go that's perfect gorgeous thank you so just go in just blend this in here don't forget we are with you five days a week now as well so if you're you're watching today and you're you're not aware of this and you think right we'll see you guys on wednesday no we will be here tomorrow i know we it's are five days a week now we are spoiling you guys me we and just, you again tomorrow isn't it it is yeah we are looking at embossing tomorrow yeah it's been like embossing powder highly requested yeah hasn't heat it? embossing so um, we'll be looking at all sorts of fabulous techniques for you to be able to use with your embossing powders. We think we're treating ourselves to a brand new heat gun as we well. Are, That's always we exciting. Are, we are going to crack open <laughs> a brand new heat gun because the one we're having here is very, very sad. And this morning when Jane was using it in the um, creative room, it was just like, no, I'm, I've had enough. I'm it's, not playing today. It just didn't work. Yeah, it's been worked very hard. Yeah. It was on its last legs. It was. We did know this. So it's time to upgrade. It's very exciting. So we're just going to pop that on there. And then we will bring in our beautiful Mr. Flopsy. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? So I've started colouring him in already, just to just to kind of speed up this demo. Oh, look at him. I know. And like you say, um, I think you said it with the um, squirrel, like you can have a ginger, red one, grey, anything. The rabbit is exactly the same. I've coloured him in like really, this one's just a sort of medium brown, but I've coloured him in really pale colours before. Um, yeah. Even again, grey would work with that. The mouse is the same. Um, that's the thing. You don't have to kind oh, of. Oh, look at the colour. He's so cute. Oh, I know. He really is. And he's quite easy to colour. Yeah, quite nice open spaces. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's definitely easier with a bit more time. I'm trying to craft <laughs> like as speedily as possible. Don't worry. We've got loads of time. I know. You don't need to rush. It's quite nice to see him come to life as well, isn't it? It is. Um, and again, like you can do his suit in a multi, like, you know, you could do that black, grey. Yeah. Even really fun. I think he'd look cool in a really funky he coloured was. suit. Again, that's where your paper piecing would be really good. So you could stamp this on any pattern papers that you've got. Obviously, the ones in this collection work perfectly, but maybe you've got some of our pattern packs and you've got something that's a bit funky. Oh, you could yeah. give him a really cool suit, couldn't you? I think that would be such a good idea. It's definitely a really cool technique as well. Yeah. Uh, Janie has said that we're, uh, Amory, you're not spoiling us, you're bankrupting us. <laughs> With, sorry, not sorry. I know, sauce. <laughs> yeah, it really has been. I know people have literally just wanted to buy every collection that we've brought this month. We've brought some real strong ones. I think though, in like January and February, you know, it's it's nice because it, it, they're more inside months, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, you so can't get out and about the same, can you? No, no. It's a bit chills. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. Ever so slightly, it was very windy oh at the weekend. My oh, my goodness, God. wasn't it? It was ridiculous. So it was my mum's birthday yesterday. So my mum and dad went away for the weekend to the lakes, bless them. Um, it was very wet and windy up there as well. Um, but my dad normally takes Joseph to football. Oh, yeah. So he plays every Saturday morning. Um, but obviously my dad was away, so I took him because Mark can't handle kids playing football. He gets very stressed out. So I was like, you're not taking him. I will go. Uh, oh, my goodness. I couldn't have picked a worse weekend to go. I mean, they won, which was good because they've oh, not yay. won for a little while. Um, but oh, my goodness, it was blowing a gale 
like proper windy, it really throwing was. it down. It was like an absolute mud pit. He was filthy when he got in the car. I made him take all his clothes off before he got in, <laughs> got in the car. <laughs> Put everything in a bag and threw it all in the wash as soon as we got in. It was awful. It, it really, really was, wasn't it? I could not imagine playing football. He must have definitely been very windswept. Oh, he was. The, he wears like um, base layers underneath his kit. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got those on, but... The other goalie, bless him, he just had shorts on and his socks. Oh, my goodness. And his, his shirt, obviously, but his little knees were red raw. Oh, I was no. like, oh, my goodness, he looks so cold. <laughs> shorts in February. He is a brave oh, lad. Oh, I know. Um, perfect. So I'm just going to bring in this little bit of, just to do round his shirt and tie. And then I think I'm just going to just add a little bit of pink onto his ear. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's really coming together now, isn't he? It's gorgeous. What colour are you going to do? His little... His little bow? Yeah. I don't think I've brought enough colours in. I might um, I might do it in... Let's just go with pink. Oh. Why not? Why not? He's a modern bunny. He, he really is. I actually kind of like <laughs> I that. Do. that. I was love that. not the colour <laughs> I plan to use, but... He's very cute. Okay, so let's bridge this together. I have actually, uh, so you just want to lie that on there because we're okay. not sticking that onto the cord. The bunny is going to do all oh, the sticking for okay. us. Okay. So we're going to pop him on there. Um, phone pads on his on his head and his feet, and then that will sort of bridge the card together. Yeah. And again, if you wanted to bring your parchment or your pattern Ooh, paper yeah. acetate, anything yeah. you wanted to bring in there would look great. So I just need to again. I'm bringing in my pencil, just so I don't put any phone pads uh, where I don't want them. So it's really just the middle of his body that we yeah. don't want any. And we will bridge him up. It's so worth doing that, though, because it, once you flip it over, it's really hard to gauge where that, that central panel is, isn't it, it? Yeah, it is. It really is, definitely. So we're just going to add a little one on there, and then we're going to go in with some skinny... We're going to put plenty on, because it's obviously going to have to... It's a big card for such a little bunny to support. Yes. So we're going to, like, cover so him. He's work cut out for him. Yeah, he does, he does, but it'll be OK. <laughs> he can do it. Oh, Chris has said, I can't wait for this set to arrive tomorrow. How <gasps> exciting, Chris. Yay! Uh, Gemma has said, uh, Gemma Louise has said, my favourite are the rabbits. This kit will be on next month's Crafty Treats. Everyone is loving this. Loving this demo. That's Claudia. Oh, thank you. Um, Great for um, Easter cards, this yes. one as well, isn't it? You could do them in really pastel colours. Oh, you could. And it would look great as an Easter card. If you wanted to do like modern, sort of non religious Easter yeah, cards. That would be very cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we're just going to pop him on there. And we're going to put him on the right hand side because just as I was sticking that mat on layer, I've got the tiniest smudge, but it's absolutely fine. Okay. You can't really see it on camera, but it's just there. So we're going to do a little bit of damage control and just pop him there no one will know just gonna hide that foam pad behind his ear <laughs> and then there we go it lifts up I need to just squeeze him past my sentiment actually covering up that hang on hang on sorry guys let's rewind this a little bit it's I was all like good. oh I'm gonna pop him there and I was like no yeah, wait I've just he will still hide it though he just needs to budge up a little bit doesn't he he does because we don't want to miss my sentiment no Oh, it's fine. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. We can always fix it, can't we? Oh, absolutely. That's what I really love about crafting is you can just go and change it. Yeah. And sometimes your card might not start how you planned, but exactly. it's fine. Exactly. Nobody knows when they see the end result, do they, what your intention was? No. Absolutely. Everything can be fixed most of the time. Oh, my goodness. This is going to look so cute. Yeah. So we're just going in with a couple oh. of our favourite sepia pearls because they're so cute. Um, these small ones, I have Did to it say, just run away from you It then? really did. I really struggle with these small ones, you know. It was like, nope. <laughs> Please don't put me on there. I don't want to be on. There we go. I quite like being on my little carrier sheet. Leave me alone. Absolutely. There we go. Right, and then we just need one more on this little bottom one. Because I like doing pearls in threes and fives. Okay. So if we just have that there, that will be all sorted. So You'll be able to sleep tonight now you've got five on. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just don't go there. It's ridiculous. Um, we're going to give this a really nice, good score. I mean, you're not even a Virgo. What is this? I know. I'm an Aquarius. It's, uh, it's Becca's birthday tomorrow, everybody. Stop just it. in case uh, you weren't here on Friday. No. <laughs> we are not making a big deal. It's fine. No, this is not what we, how we roll at Hunky Dory. We always make a big deal at birthdays. That is the rule. Perfect. So I think we're going to leave it there before it upsets me anymore. 
and we will just oh i love that in there. i think to strengthen it i probably would put a piece of acetate in i might do that after i'll like I say i'll take pictures of all my cards after the show and i'll pop that in there to that is it. very very cute though i absolutely love it Thank you so much. We've had three fabulous demos today from Becca. Um, you are wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so that is us for today. We are almost done. Uh, we are going to add this. I was looking for it then. Um, the Ombre Ink Pad Oranges to our rollover box. It's well over £100 now. It is stacking up. And then today, we are busy on the TV shopping channels today. We are on both channels today. Um, so Laura is on next at 12 o'clock with uh, our topper books and our uh, country days decoupage aperture cards um, and then Pauline's on at 3 p.m with a woodland story so more inspiration with this fabulous collection then Laura's on again at four on the craft store and then Pauline's back on at six on create and craft with a woodland story so Laura's on the craft store Pauline's on create and craft you can flip between the channels and watch us all day long. It's just going to be fabulous. Um, next up on Hunky Dory TV though, it is myself and Becca tomorrow where we'll, we will be sharing some amazing uh, embossing techniques with you. So make sure you tune in tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for watching us. Thanks Emily for looking after us. You are wonderful. Uh, thank you Becca again for your fab demos Thanks. and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.